Welcome to episode number 8. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to customize your members area um, box over here with the edit profile, index, and fight, etc. Now, if you go on to a normal, actually, what it looks like without is pretty, it's nice, but it's pretty plain looking. So, with, um, see, this is what it looks like before. So, with a little bit of coding, you can totally customize this for your site. So, to get started, first we need to know the class of each of these. Which, as you can see, the class of inbox, edit profile, and invite are icon link. So, to start, we'll go in here and type it in. And first, I'm going to pick a nice color to match this template, which is a uh, like a pink color here. This is a uh, Firefox plugin, by the way, color colors in there. I'm going to add a background, and I'm also going to add the important sign because right now each of these uh, I can't see there was actually a background. Um, so if you add the I the important it'll it'll take those away so let's uh, save the design here and see how it looks better now we also need to change the color to black and right away we can see that there's a lot of unnecessary padding here so to do that we're just going to add padding zero pixels but I can envision that adding that will make these look really small and cluttered up. So I'm, I'm just going to change this to 5 pixels. But with the important sign here, it should overrule the 20 pixels that is on the left, if you know what I mean. There you go, looks a lot better. Now I'm also going to flip this to the left, and we'll see how that looks. looks a lot better, but it would look even better if it was stretched all the way to over here. So to do that, I'm just going to add 10 pixels here, which is left and right. And almost there, as you can see, it still has a little ways to go, so I'll put this up to five, 15 pixels. And as you can see, it's too much as now it's dropped down because it doesn't have enough room. So we'll put this down to 14. And it's still too much, so we'll put down another. We'll just keep going down until it fits. There we go. Looks great. Now there's a couple of things we can do, we can move the underline when you hover over and we can make the background highlight to a lighter color. We'll do that by adding the icon link class again and right after it adding colon hover and we'll just copy this down here. I'm just going to pick a lighter color pink here, this will be good. And we'll add text. Decoration, none. So that will move the underline. And <coughs> refresh and see how it looks. Much, much better. Okay. Now, when I was pre coding this for the tutorial, I was debating what to do with this little icon here. So I wanted to make it bigger, or what. So in the end, I just decided to remove it, and it looks pretty good, so. This class is FW Profile Pick. But if you're not careful, and you make it so it doesn't display, um, it won't display in the forms or the profile either, because the, 
class on the image on the forums and on the profile we use the same name, the same class. So to fix this, we'll type FW sidebar and then the profile pick class. So when we put in display none, it only removes the FW profile pick that are on the sidebar. So the forms and the profile avatars will still show. And there you go. It's finished. It looks a lot better than before. And of course, if you don't have a pink and purple site, you'd want to change your colors. You can do that to whoever you want. But, um, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do that. And I'll see you again next week.